Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. The Queen will have a quiet word with Meghan about how to avoid PR blunders when the Duchess celebrates her birthday at Balmoral this summer, a royal expert claims. Her birthday, Meghan's birthday, is on August 4th, which is this Sunday. The Queen will advise Meghan on how to navigate the tricky world of PR, an expert says. The monarch reportedly invited the Duchess of Sussex for her 38th birthday at Balmoral. She's allegedly 38. According to reports, the Queen, Camilla, and Charles are very keen on engaging Meghan, so Camilla and Charles will also be there. The expert claims the royal may advise Meghan on the best way forward in, in public. The Queen, 93, along with the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, is said to be particularly fond of Meghan, who recently welcomed Archie with Prince Harry and is keen for her to avoid any further PR blunders. Okay, the recent blunders are the Vogue copycat incident. That is huge. The Ten Commandments of Frogmore, which they deny. The Wimbledon incident. Uh, and, the, and the ongoing three million plus renovation of Frogmore. Okay. Here she's looking demure. demure. Speaking to the Sun, the royal expert Philip Dampier said this might be a good opportunity to have not an assessment of her, but a quiet chat away from the maddening crowds as to how Megan thinks it's going. I think in quiet moments and quiet walks up by the river, the Queen might have a few words of advice for her. I think she might. I'm sure there must be things where she perhaps thinks things could be done better. So I'm sure she would give her some advice, especially if Megan asks for it. The expert added that Charles, Camilla, and the Queen are very fond of Meghan and find her engaging and intelligent. Here's Balmoral Castle. Very beautiful. It's in the Scottish Highlands. The Queen is keen to give Meghan a thoughtful present. The catering team will bake a cake to mark the special occasion, certainly. Here is the incident at Wimbledon where this man, and you can see his face, He's apparently taking a selfie. This man is very cheeky. And the security guy came and took his camera and checked his camera. And apparently he was taking a selfie of himself with uh, Serena Williams in the background. She also did not go up to Serena Williams after her win. Uh, she's wearing jeans and a blazer. She's not allowed to wear that. She may have tried to get into the royal box, but absolutely she's not getting into the royal box wearing jeans. But she did clear out a whole section there. Here's Banana Gate. You are special. You are strong. You are brave uh, for the sex workers in Bristol. Uh, she's been rightly, she and Harry have been brought under a lot of criticism for their screams of privacy. Uh, look at the size of Kate. She's enormous. If she stands up, these four people will come up maybe to her shoulder, and she's taller than William. And it's been proven. Uh, that this is a Photoshop. Here she's being told to turn around very sternly by Harry. This is Trooping the Color, which she came at the last moment and they rode backwards in the carriage. All right, let's get right into it. The Queen is going to school Meghan Markle on her PR blunders at over her birthday at Balmoral. Uh, it's a mess. So what is the Queen... Queen and Meghan Markle, how is their current relationship? Because everything in life is based on relationships. Uh, ultimately, your success in life is based on relationships. So, how is it going between the Queen and Meghan Markle? Because the Queen has not appeared in public with Meghan Markle since the very beginning. In the very beginning, she was welcomed very 
uh, Megan was welcomed very lavishly. She was, you know, just put on the schedule and, and given as much face time in front of the public as possible. And she made gaff after gaff after gaff. And since then, the Queen has not appeared in public again with Meghan Markle. There, you know, there's the picture of Archie. This is the Queen. But that, all these pictures with Archie and the Queen seem to be photoshopped. Okay, that's the Queen. This is Meghan Markle. How's their relationship going? Interesting cards. <clears throat> Permanent family, solid cornerstone, 11, three clubs, talking and chatting, butterfly, light and transformative, transforming the... Okay, so the queen feels that Megan is transforming the permanent structure of the monarchy, and she wants to talk to her about it here at Balmoral Castle. So the queen feels that Megan is very transformative. Interesting. And she is. She's very transformative. She's completely transformed Harry. Harry is unrecognizable. <clears throat> he's not the old Harry. Now he's just spouting about climate change and how everybody is a bigot. And, you know, wow. And his popularity is plummeting. I wonder why. Okay, so what is... What is Megan's relationship to the Queen? Stepping stone, step by step, working everything together, talking, six and five, eleven, three clubs. Three threes. Threes are building actions. Twos are couple. Threes are building actions. So Megan is just working everything together in her in her goal to get to the top. Um, no hearts, no hearts here, no hearts here. That is disturbing in a relationship. There's no love. No love on Megan's side. This is, this is all business. Diamonds are great business cards. Here's a diamond. Here's two diamonds. Threes are building. This is, this is how Megan is getting, is rising in the world. This is how Megan is rising in the world. Okay, and no feelings. Okay, the queen at least has a permanent family card. So the most permanent cards are the cross and ten diamonds. So the queen feels that Megan is changing the monarchy forever. And Megan is just, this is how she's rising to the top. This is her strategy for success. What's hiding in the shadow? Uh, the ruler and the fox. 25, 13 and 12, 25, 7 hearts. The monarch is thinking very, the monarch is playing her chess very carefully. I could have expected to see some, you know, the queen is very displeased. I could expect to see that. I'm not seeing that. The queen is, again, completely unruffled. Megan is completely unruffled. <coughs> it's very interesting how these cards are turning out. How are Charles and Camilla? Okay, because Charles and Camilla... I believe are slated to be at Balmoral uh, for this for her birthday on August fourth. How are Charles and Camilla feeling? Okay, uh, Charles and Camilla just removed them, Harry and Meghan, from their website. Okay, and it looks like they may be cutting off funding, and now the Queen may be funding them. Okay, Cornerstone could be a funding card. And Megan was Charles' darling in the beginning, okay? Megan was very, very nicely, very well embraced by the royal family, and Charles really took her under his wing, and now it seems that, uh, lover's upside down, now it seems that he may be angry at her. He's very angry at Harry. Is, how is Charles and Camilla, how are they feeling about Megan? Player, seven hearts. upside down.
I am beginning to think that the royal family is approving of Meghan and Harry's actions. Uh, 2031, eight clubs, the whole, you know, city, the whole world. Okay, so Lovers is upside down. Uh, seven, two clubs. They're still committed to the relationship, but the love is gone. Okay, the lovers is turned upside down. It's not a love, you know, it's not, a, you know, they're not embracing her as a, as a daughter, as a, you know, as, a, as an in-law, as a family member. The love is now upside down. Uh, Magi manifesting things, Star of Bethlehem manifesting this direction uh, for the player. 24, okay, so eight clubs. Uh, manifesting. So what does Charles and, and Camilla think? Uh, they see Megan as an actress. Okay, this is her public persona and she's manifesting her future. But there's no love there. Uh, they're not opposed, interestingly. I'm not seeing opposition. I'm not seeing anger. I'm also not seeing love. There's no love here. Uh, the All the love for Megan is kind of just washed away. Okay, Megan is incredibly, uh, and she's turned Harry this way, Megan is incredibly political. Literally every word out of her mouth is feminism, politics, equality, you know, everybody's a bigot, uh, everything, literally everything out of her mouth, and nothing that comes out of her mouth relates in any way, shape, or form to England, the monarchy, or the glory of Britain. Okay, what does, how, what does the queen think of these, her radical political views that just never, that's literally all she says. She won't even talk about her relationship with Harry or, or baby Archie or, you know, be the down-to-earth kind of person uh, in public. What does the queen think of this? Her radical political views. Again, we have transformation. A lot of transformation. Okay, uh, keeping it in the box. Uh, family, two spades. She doesn't like it, and she's not saying anything yet. Uh, and changing the family. Changing the family, and this can be killing the family. Uh, but two spades and four spades. The queen, this is not the queen's style. Okay, the queen is the monarch. She decides the direction for the monarchy. This is not the queen's style, but she's not saying anything about this huge shift for the family. She's just not saying anything yet. Uh, communicating transformation, 17, five hearts, reacting to uh, all of these transformative words. Okay, so what is the queen thinking about this? What is, you know, uh, I was kind of wondering if she hates it, if she's really gonna take strong actions. Uh, She's still keeping quiet about it. She's letting it run, and she's just watching the changes, and she's going to react to those changes. She's still letting it run. I'm very impressed. Is the queen planning to tighten oversight over Meghan and Harry? Okay, uh, because Vogue can be interpreted... The, you know, Meghan did not include the Queen in her Vogue co cover as one of the 15 change makers. Okay, Meghan did not include uh, the Queen uh, or any of the monarchy as, as one of the great change makers, okay, to be highlighted in this Vogue. Is the Queen planning to tighten oversight? Of, of Meghan and Harry? Are they planning to tighten oversight? Because they're just letting them run. Locked. Cast out.
Okay, so we have blocked and cast out, okay, but a sweet face on it. Planting the seed, messages and planting the seed, step-by-step, uh, step, very opportunistic, committed to acting very opportunistically as these messages come out. Six and seven, two clubs. Okay, so they take it step-by-step. Step. The queen is taking it step-by-step, step. but in the hidden situation, even though there's a sweet face on it, she is removing Meghan and Harry and blocking their access. 13, 16, four spades, and shutting them down. So she, her plan is, what she's doing is she's, she's systematically cutting them off and shutting them down. Okay, and the latest move is Charles is, has removed them from the website, and this brings into question the funding. They literally can't do anything without money. All of the stuff that they're doing, any embarrassing of the monarchy that they're currently <clears throat> doing will be shut down. You just turn off the money tap, okay? And it's, it's not clear that the queen has picked them up. Uh, William and Harry are splitting $4 million a year to run their charities, okay? So they just keep moving them further and further away. So that's what we're seeing. Uh, but she's still letting it run. She's just letting it run, taking it step by step and inch by inch. Um, very interesting. Did the queen uh, feel that not including herself or any of the monarchy on the Vogue cover, that this was a, an intentional, intentional disrespect. Does she believe that Meghan was taking a swipe at her and that this is intentional disrespect because that could easily be interpreted that way? Mother Earth, High Tower. Okay, there's the Incubus Succubus. Yep. Okay. So official, high official, so 15 and 12, 27 cross the permanent relationship. The mother, so this is probably Megan, the mother, and officially bad relationship. So yeah, she, does she, does the queen feel that this was intentional disrespect? Yeah, Megan officially disrespected her, showed her a lack of respect. Uh, because the queen is the, the original feminist, okay? She's, she's the queen, okay? And she rules very well. Okay, nine, three hearts. She's, okay, broken relation. The relationship is secretly broken. Again, she's just keeping it all in the box. She's not saying anything. She's keeping a sweet face on it. Harry's doing the same thing with Meghan. Uh, he learned this from his grandmother. Uh, and, and it's very good. That's... That's how, that's the best way to deal with it. She's moving underneath, but on the surface, it's very sweet. She does feel that this was intentional disrespect. Intentional disrespect. <clears throat> and just coming out, you know, the, uh, yeah. Harry is flying to Italy with this Google, this, this Google retreat, and he's, you know, rubbing shoulders with all the Illuminati. You know, I think they're taking care of funding. So we're going to have to look at that because I think Harry and Meghan are very concerned that they're about to be cut off by the royal family. Uh, and they're going to have to make their own way in the world. So interesting, uh, interesting. So let, let's ask, is the queen going to pick up funding is the queen going to pick up funding of Meghan and Harry? Is the queen going to pick up the funding for Meghan and Harry? What a, what a messy situation for Meghan and Harry. But I've also looked at Meghan and Harry going to Hollywood and just being out on their own, and I see them being fabulously successful. Is the queen going to pick up funding? Oh, my. Oh, dear.
Because what is clearly on the table is Charles, the money comes from Charles. And Charles clearly, Charles may be cutting Meghan and Harry off. So is the queen going to pick them up? Okay, because then they're just they're just left with Harry's stipend, which is four hundred grand. Megan spent six six hundred thousand dollars just on jewelry in the last eighteen months for herself, and a million dollars on clothes just for herself. That's one million six hundred thousand dollars just on Megan spending for Megan. Harry's Harry's stipend is four hundred grand a year. How you, and, and and none of that none of that includes housing or anything else. They can't afford their lifestyle without the money from the crown. So is the queen going to pick them up? Executioner makes, has full authority to make a decision and not consult anybody. Conflict, heart, 4 and 13, 17. Five hearts, reacting, okay, fence sitter. They're on the fence. She's on the fence as to whether she'll cut them off. She's on the fence. Wow. And this is what I wanted to get at with this meeting at Balmoral. She's on the fence as to whether or not she's going to cut them off too. That's a big deal. So I'm asking, will the queen pick them up? She is deciding whether or not she's going to, whether or not they're going to completely cut Harry and Meghan off. Okay, they're sending them away. They're casting them out. But they're, they're talking sweet and in another reading, I see that Harry is the grandson. Harry will always be a royal, okay? And so they're keeping this in mind. But right now, Harry and Meghan are linked because they're, they're married. Interesting, very interesting. All right, so what do we have here? What mysteries have we uncovered? Uh, okay, so what is the Queen Meghan's relationship? No hearts, no love. For Megan, this is just how she is, is, is building her fortune in the world. Threes is she's just building, building, building. Threes are building action. And this is eight, 11, three clubs. So she is positively working everything together to build her fortune and her brand. The queen uh, sees that Megan is transforming 11, another three, uh, is transforming the foundation of the permanent of the royalty. She's transforming everything permanently. Okay, and so she's, the queen is just playing chess, moving the pieces around. There's no emotions here. Megan is amassing her fortune, whether she's sending it to Doria secretly, which she, she has set that up. And there's definitely some questions about how much money Doria has now. Uh, and so... The queen is just looking at this very soberly. Uh, the queen is watching and recognizing what's going on. She's playing chess. Megan is amassing her fortune. Okay, no real decisions are made here. And I, I was kind of maybe expecting maybe there's going to be some decisions made here. What's going on with Charles and Camilla? Charles and Camilla, Charles was a big booster of Megan. Now he sees her, the, the, lover, the love is gone. Okay, because of the decisions, the love is gone. Lovers are upside down. I generally don't read my cards upside down, but if they fall out upside down, they need to be read upside down. So uh, the love is gone. He sees Megan as she is manifesting her future and her public persona. That's what he sees. And again, these are not good love cards. The love is upside down. Okay, all the love has been sucked out of the relationship and it's just pure, you know, capitalism at this point. They, they see Megan as like a capitalist. Uh, okay, so, okay, and so all of this, let's save the planet and let's kill all the children, should ring false because it's really just, this is the vehicle that they're using to amass their fortune like the Clintons did. Okay, what does the queen think of Megan's radical political views? Okay, it's, uh, that's over here radical political views. She's keeping it all in the box. She sees huge changes for the family and she's just reacting. She's not pulling the trigger. She's just contemplating everything and playing her chess game and she's keeping it all in the box and she's keeping her emotions separated from it. Very wise. Okay. 
Is the queen going to tighten oversight? No, she's still going to let it run. She's still letting it run, but they're separating and, and sending them away. They're, they're, they're shutting down and sending them away to Africa. They're shutting them down step by step by step. And the latest is Charles. They're shutting them down. Okay, but they're still letting them run. They're still just want to see what's going to happen. Does the queen feel that the Vogue, not including herself or any of the royals, was intentional disrespect? Yes, absolutely. She has, Meghan has now crossed that line where she has publicly and officially disrespected the queen. That's a big deal. Okay, is the queen going to, if Charles drops Harry and Meghan, which it looks like that's what's on the table, drops the funding, is the queen going to pick it up? The queen is looking at cutting off all funding to Harry and Meghan. That's a big, big deal. So that's your royalty today, and that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, the Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, definitely feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.